Hi, my name is Shirley Birdsong, and um, we're in Paradise. Hi, my name is Abu Schlimmer, and we're in Paradise, California. I do crafts. Uh, as you can see, I like fountains. I make my own fountains. I do my own little clay pot animals. Um, I love plants, so those are my hobbies. For me, I enjoy doing yard work, small engines repair, and truck work. I love um, Jenny's, which is owned by Karen. And then I love the ice skating ring and, oh my goodness. Um, Johnny Appleseed Day. Yeah, the chocolate day for me. And, and I love the town of Paradise. They work with you, they're awesome. For me, I literally went to Terrace when I saw the home being brought in. It's been like, it was never really going to happen. And this was like just a reality and I could actually touch it. So that was the biggest moment. I have my home and I'm back in paradise. I'd say about the same. Same thing, seeing them bring it in. For me, I think the main thing was, um, the hardest part was having it financially, waiting for pg and &E. And so that's kind of where we were at, was the financial part. The minute I saw Paradise and we moved up here, I fell totally in love with it. The people, uh, the town, the animals, it's just, it's the word, Paradise. There's no other place like it. Basically like when you come up Skyway and you see the sign, it's exactly what the name implies. It is Paradise even after the fire. Well, I guess the only way to describe it is roller coasters are fun. They have their ups and downs. Um, I'm very thankful for the organization, which was the Jehovah's Witnesses, who came in and worked with the town. They found our septic. They walked us in in these little hazmat suits. And then executive in Chico with Tommy, Wendy, and Bill and their team, they're the awesome. They're the best. Everything they told us was the truth. There was no, hey, I'm going to do this. It's going to be there tomorrow. It was, you're going to have ups and downs. I would recommend them to anybody. I'm home. This is this is everything. I could have went to the ocean. We could have went to Oregon. This is paradise. There's no other place on earth like it. Yeah. For me, being in the fire for 11 hours and 15 minutes and not knowing if I was going to live, it caused a trauma for everybody, but it tied us together with that fire. And the thing of it is, coming back here, fixed that trauma for me. I feel safe here, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy to be part of this rebuild for Paradise. It's awesome. All I have to say is just don't give up. I mean, it's a long process, but you'll get there, so don't have any doubt about it. Just don't give up and keep going. We have applied for the septic grant, who was with Steve um, Dolich, which he's awesome. And um, so the Town of Paradise has been so awesome with all their grants as far as trying to get you to rebuild, to repay what you've put in from the septic to the surveys to the PEP test on the septic. Um, most towns I don't believe would do that. And they're offering, if you put this in, we will pay you back. So do reach out that. And we have a wonderful case manager through the Town of Paradise by the name of Julie Boss. The ladies that we work with, I couldn't name them all, but I believe there's Sarah, there's uh, Lindsay, there's um, Julie. There's so much wanting to help you get back, and I, that's what I appreciate about the town of Paradise is they're just awesome people. Well, we had law, the um, code enforcement come here and was telling people that, you know, by this certain time, they're going to have to, you know, either be rebuilding or go. And they brought a lady with them, which was the case manager, which again was Julie Boss. And um, so that's, she's been awesome. It's a teamwork. If you don't have one, definitely reach out to the town of Paradise because we're still going with the trauma that we went through and we don't think about the future. They will help you definitely reach out to them. I hope that they take the chance to look at this and hear our heartfelt compassion for the town and come home. Just come home. <laughs>